Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Folks, that is what we all deserve for our sins, for our crimes against the Holy God. We all deserve the ultimate death penalty in hell. We all deserve the wrath of God upon us. You see, those who continue on in their sin and those who die in their sin, they will end up in the place, the terrible place called hell, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the fire is not quenched, where the worm does not die. Do you know tonight, folks, where you stand before the one true God? Not, be not before Muhammad or Allah or Buddha, because there are false gods. But where do you stand before the one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ alone? Are you innocent or are you guilty? And how do you know? And how do you know? Again, folks, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The Bible says, without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. You cannot save yourself. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 2, For if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be closed, and all the world may become accountable to God. For by the works of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight. For through the law comes the knowledge of sin. For by the works of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight. For through the law comes the knowledge of sin. Oh, that is disgusting. So you have some folks out here tonight that are proving why I need to be here proclaiming the gospel to you. Because people hate God. Because people love sin. They love sexual morality. Because people love perversion. Because people have embraced delusion. Because babies have embraced delusion. We are a society that loves delusion, that has rejected the truth. You see, when the Lord Jesus Christ stood before Pontius Pilate, Pilate asked Jesus Christ, what is truth? Pilate asked the Lord Jesus Christ, what is truth? And the truth was standing right before him. Folks, if you have been searching for the truth, that tonight, come to Jesus Christ. Come to Jesus Christ. But we live in a society that has rejected truth. People don't know what truth is anymore. They have, they have embraced subjectivity, subjective truth, that whatever you believe is true. Plan B. And that's what happens when people throw the Bible out the window. Everybody is right in their own eyes. Remember to register to vote. As the Bible says in 2 Kings, the last verse in 2 Kings, God says, In those days, there was no king in Israel. 
everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. And in the book of Proverbs, God says, For there is a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, it leads to death. That's the way most Americans are living. A way that seems right to them. It feels right. The heart tells them it's right. But in the end, it leads to death. And that's the way most people in America are living. They're living a way that's sending them straight to hell. 